All right, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, this is evening in this part of the world. Good evening, everyone. Trust we're doing well, and uh, you're welcome to our webinar. Today, we're looking at Shape Up for 2025. Shape Up for 2025. It's a conversation that I want us to please pay attention to. Most importantly, I want us to be truthful with ourselves. This is very important. If you are joining us for the very first time, my name is Dr. Shogo. I'm a peak performance coach. I'm also a personal performance coach. What I do is simple. I help people. I help, I help people unlock the answers they are looking for outside of them. I help them unlock it because it is inside of them. I help people connect the dot. I help people amplify their goals. And I also hold people accountable. I'm a corporate trainer. I've been privileged to train blue chip companies, oil and gas, banks, telecoms, within and outside Nigeria. I'm a member of Forbes Coaches Council. I serve as personal advisor to high net worth individuals, captains of industries and uh, business owners, and any individual that is looking at scaling up. In fact, this end of the year is the best time for you to seek a third opinion a fourth, a fourth opinion, if there's anything like that, or seek the counsel or bounce your ideas off a coach if you really want to scale up. Everyone doing well, trust me, they have a coach. I'm a conference speaker. In my little life, I've spoken in over 15 countries. This year alone, I've spoken in over five countries physically not Zoom meetings. I've hosted my own independent events in Nigeria, in Botswana, and in Tanzania. So I know a little about uh, preparing for a new year. I know a little about setting goals. I know a little about uh, achieving your goals, because it is not everybody that sets their goals, that achieves their goals, right? My goals for 2024, I crushed all my goals in November, uh, in September. So whatever it is I've done so far between October and November, they are bonus goals. And that can be your own story as well. And I've had this occurrence for the past three or four years that it's like that I crushed my goals before the end of the year I want you to know something any success that you have attained or you achieved that you cannot duplicate then you don't have a template for it don't ever forget this statement any success that you cannot duplicate, then you have not yet understood the blueprint. It means that that success was a fluke. It means that that success was a guesswork. And we're going into a new year, 2025. This is me challenging everyone that we shouldn't do a guesswork in this new year. I'm a life and business strategist. I've consulted for over 500 small businesses across Africa. Media mentions. My thoughts have been published on Forbes, Nigerian Tribune, I've featured on Botswana TV, Kenya Television Network, Lagos TV, Kumbamba Radio, in uh, Kenya, I've been featured on radio in Sierra Leone, TVC, Guardian, just to mention a few. So today we are looking at Shape Up for 2025. 
and my work is easy. I decided to make my work easy. I've made shape up. I formed shape up into an acronym S H A P E U P. So we'll look at what S is, what H is, what P is, and U, then up, then we can call it a day. Yeah. So this is what we will be. This is the format for our webinar today. So let's start with S. Shape up. Shape up. S is set specific goals. This is beyond your elementary setting uh, specific goals that you think you know. A lot of people are confused about what they want out of life. We are going into 2025. You want to ask yourself, what do I want specifically? What do I even want specifically this end of the year between now and December 31st? So you need to be able to set specific goals. To achieve anything tangible in 2025, you need to achieve anything tangible in 2025, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be able to set specific, clear, and measurable goals. Your goals must be specific, it must be clear, it must be measurable. I, I, need, you to, I need to tell you the truth. Eh? Being vague about your aspirations only leads to uh, frustration and missed opportunities because a lot of people's uh, a lot of people's aspirations are vague they are not specific i want you to write this down nothing changes until you are specific about what you want to change nothing changes until you are specific about what you want to change so you hear people say i want to change my situation i, I want to change what situation the ones i just want my situation to get better no you can't shape up effectively that way. Nothing changes until you are specific about what you want to change. When you look at a ship, a ship has a compass. And the moment that compass is missing, that ship will start drifting aimlessly. So in your life, if you don't set clear target, uh, targets, you will just be drifting in your life. You'll be drifting in your business. You'll be drifting in your career. I love the part of the good book that says, uh, write down the vision, make it plain, make it plain, so that either read it will run with it. This underscores the importance of clarity in goal setting. When your vision is clear, it becomes easier to pursue and to achieve. I love a statement uh, by Zig Ziglar. Zig Ziglar, there's a statement Zig Ziglar made. He said, if you aim at nothing, you will eat it every time. Listen to me very well. If you aim at nothing, you will eat it every time. What is the eat? Nothing. You will eat nothing all the time. So what is it you are, uh, you are aiming for in 2025? Being specific has power. The power of uh, specificity. Many people make resolutions like, I want to make more money. I want to lose weight. But these are too general. Specificity brings focus. You want to write that down. Specificity, specificity brings focus. Instead of saying, I want to make more money, I want you to say something like, I want to increase my income by 20% by June 2025. By launching a side business or getting a promotion at work. Can you see how specific that is? It even helps you make plan. So instead of saying, I want to lose weight, you want to be specific by saying, I want to lose 10 kg by March 2025 by exercising three times a week and eating a low carb diet. So this is how specificity works. I remember the story uh, of uh, Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison's goal was not just to invent something useful. He was specific. He wanted to create an electric bulb that was affordable and reliable. So this clarity drove his 10,000 attempts until he succeeded. I love this African pro uh, proverb. 
He says, if you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. If you don't know where you are going, everywhere looks like, like it. Let me quickly give us some examples of people that were very specific. Michael, uh, Michael Phelps. If you don't know Michael Phelps, Michael Phelps is an Olympic swimmer. And guess what? Michael Phelps is the most decorated Olympian. He didn't simply aim to become a good, good swimmer. He set specific goals for the number of strokes per lap, per time reductions, and medals to win. You need to read his story. So success is never an accident. His focus has made him the most decorated Olympian of all time. Look at Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> when you read the story of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg did not just want to create a social platform. He set specific target. When he, cre when he was creating uh, Facebook, he set a specific target that we want to reach 1 million users within the first year of launching Facebook. How specific are you with your goals? Nelson Mandela did not just wish for a better South Africa. His goal was specific to dismantle appetite through nonviolent resistance, which he achieved after decades of uh, perseverance. So the question is, what are specific steps? What are specific steps for goal setting? Number one, you need to define, define your goals. You might want to use, there are several free framework you can use for defining your goals. The most popular is SMART, but it's not the only one because SMART is even faulted a little. For example, I want to get fit. You want to try with, I will jog five kilometers every Saturday morning for the next six months. That is more specific, right? That is more, that is more specific. Then you want to break your goals into milestones. Big goals, when we set them, I know they can be very overwhelming. So people want to just pursue it as a lump. Then they become overwhelmed. My advice to you is that you break your goals into smaller actionable steps. So for instance, if your goal is to buy a house by December 2025, you can start saving a specific amount monthly. You also want to research locations Maybe by middle of next year, you want to do research locations and you want to secure a mortgage by October next year. That makes your goal much more easier because you have broken it down. Then visualization. Everything is created twice, first in your mind before uh, you have it as a tan in tangible form. I talked about vision board, vision board. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So have a vision board, create your own vision board. Then track, track your progress. Track your progress. This is very important. What you cannot measure, you cannot manage. Review your goals regularly. You want to, it is when you are reviewing your goals that you find out if uh, you are moving forward or if you need to adjust your plans. Tony Robbins advises something that I love. He says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. You can only be flexible when you are reviewing. This is important. Let me share with you why specific goals lead to success. Specific goals actually gives you a sense of direction. Specific goals helps you knock out distraction. Specific goals provide motivation and it makes tracking your progress easier. Without specific goals, you actually risk wandering aimlessly like someone that is a digging multiple shallow wells. Instead, instead of you focusing on one well and drilling it deep to find water. There's a Chinese proverb I love. That proverb says, the man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Think about it. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Begin today by defining exactly what you want to achieve in 2025. And watch how the year will give you remarkable results. This is very important. This is very, very, very important. So let's look at the next alphabet, which I think is a game changer. 
if you can effectively do this, you will shape up for 2025 very well. And you will actually, you won't only shape up, you will scale up. I want you to process what you have heard so far. H is honesty with yourself. As we are gearing up for 2025, as you are gearing up for 2025, you need to be honest with yourself. If you want to actually see real growth, if you want to experience better results, and you want to have a lasting change in 2025, honesty with yourself is not just important, it is very essential. So true progress starts with unflinching assessment of where you are and what you need to improve. The kind, of on, uh, the kind of honesty I'm talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, is that honesty that is not comfortable, but it is the foundation of transformation. So be honest with yourself. Uh, be honest with yourself that in 2024, you misused uh, some opportunities. You didn't use them well. Maybe it was because of procrastination, it was because of poor planning, or because of even fear of stepping out of your comfort zone. You might have made excuses, blaming circumstances and people and others when the responsibility was yours. Okay? If you don't acknowledge it, nothing will change. Nothing will, ch nothing will change until you admit where you fell short. Stop blaming external. Be honest that you need to learn more about savings and investment. Money management isn't just something, uh, it's not just about you earning more money. It is about discipline. It is about understanding your priorities and making your money work for you. You want to look at your life. Did you make any investment this year? Compare your inflow to your outflow this year at a personal level. Are you living from paycheck to paycheck, even when you don't have to, when you don't need to? Are you avoiding conversations about financial literacy because they intimidate you? Face it, financial ignorance will cost you more than the temporary, uh, temporary discomfort of learning. We're all familiar with three M's of money. You need to learn how to make money, you need to learn how to manage money, and you need to learn how to multiply money. A lot of us know how to make money, but we don't know how to manage money, and we don't know how to multiply money. When we look at economy, it's at three levels. So you have global economy, you have national economy and you have your personal economy. At the global economy level, you, don't, you can't influence it. You don't have that power as an individual. At national economy level, you also still don't have power to influence it. You are powerless about it. But at your personal economy level, you have the power to call the shots. So why have you to be calling the shots? You've been spending your money on impulse. There's something I told members of my inner, inner circle, Tribe Tribe, I said, you can spend money emotionally, but you can't make money emotionally. Don't be an emotional spender when it comes to your finances. We're looking at honesty. For some people in here, you need to be honest that you need to become a better father. For some people, you need to become a better mother. For some people, you need to become a better spouse. Or for another person, you need to become a better sibling. Relationships are the backbone of life. Listen to me. The relationships is relationship is the currency. Yet a lot of us neglect the people that matter most to us. Are you truly present or you are just physically there? Are you investing time, love, and effort into your relationships? Are you letting uh, some people you allow ego, you allow distractions and pride get in the way? Be honest with yourself. You can do better. Relationship is very powerful. Why will a billionaire leave his uh, his comfort zone? In, in maybe Saudi Arabia or somewhere in the Middle East and come to Nigeria or come to South Africa or come to Tanzania to meet his billionaire friend in that country that is celebrating one year old birthday of his child. Ten year, he's investing in that relationship. I've taught us a lot in this community, especially in my inner circle, emotional bank account. You cannot withdraw from an account you have not made deposit. As strong as it is that your bank account carries your name, carries your picture, and carries your signature, you go there, you have just one penny. You go there, you want to withdraw $100,000, you might end up in jail, that you are a fraud. Because you have not deposited $100,000. Why are you attempting to withdraw $100,000? That is how it is with relationships. 
A. I want to be sure this is not a monologue. Are you following me? I, 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 am I making sense? Yes, sir. All right. Thank You're you. making a lot of sense. Yeah. Sir. Well, we're, yes. still, we're still looking at we're, we're still looking at honesty. Yeah. For some of you, you need to be honest that you need a coach. You need a coach to raise the bar for you. You need a coach to 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 hold you to a higher standard of performance because you can't do it on your own. No one achieves greatness alone. The best athletes, the best entrepreneurs and leaders, they all have mentors and coaches that are pushing them beyond their limit. Are you holding back from seeking help because of pride or because of your small achievements or because it appears you look better than your coach? Usain Bolt coach is his coach. Usain Bolt coach cannot run faster than Usain Bolt, yet he is Usain Bolt's coach. Think about it. For some people, they run away from having a coach because of fear of judgment. So be honest, your potential is bigger than your pride. Write that down. Your potential is bigger than your pride. Be honest. We are looking at honesty as we approach 2025. Honesty is very crucial. Be honest that you need to manage your time better. 24 hours that is available to the poor is the same 24 hours that is available to the rich. But the poor use their time. The rich invest their time. Think about it. The poor use up their time. The rich invest their time. And when you invest time, you are looking at it in terms of return on investment. Time is the most valuable resource you have. Yet, many of us waste it scrolling up on our phones, checking people's WhatsApp, WhatsApp status here and there. If you are not careful, you can almost do two, three hours watching people's WhatsApp status, statuses and laughing, watching reels. Two hours have gone. Two hours out of your life that you will never get back. Are you conscious of how you are using your time? Some people, it is Netflix. Netflix have become the weapon fashioned against them. For some people, it's TV or engaging in meaningless conversation with people, meaningless activities. How many of your 24 hours are you truthfully productive? I want you to think about it. How many of your 24 hours are truly productive? And you know these 24 hours we are talking about is divided into three. I personally divide it into three quadrants of 888. Eight, eight. Let's assume that you have eight hours of sleep already. That's one block of eight that is already gone. Then you have the remaining eight, 16 hours left. How are you using it? How often do you plan your day? only to deviate without any kind of some kind of consequence time does not wait for anybody time is not going we are the one going because time is timeless time is eternity be honest about how you are using your time one thing i realize about honesty is that honesty improves awareness and without awareness no meaningful change can occur so if you are not honest with yourself you will need repeating the same mistakes you will see yourself that you are stuck. You will see yourself that you are stuck in cycles of frustration and mediocrity. Some of you struggle with managing relationships. Hey, it's one of the reasons you have not gone as far as you should have in 2024. And I don't want you to repeat the same mistake in 2025. So you struggle with managing relationships. You don't know how to communicate effectively. You don't know how to apologize when you are wrong. You don't know how to set, uh, set boundaries when where where it is necessary and when it is necessary you may even lack the emotional intelligence to navigate conflict immaturely but do you know what ignorance is not an excuse in the court of law and when you don't know all this what happens is it leads to a lot of broken connections and missed opportunities for deeper bonds money is not in places money is in people Opportunities are not in places. Opportunities are in people. Some people's problem, why they have not scaled up effectively in 2024, and I'm trying to shape you up for 2025, is simply because you don't know how to talk. You don't know how to talk to yourself. You don't know how to talk to others. You don't know how to talk to the world. And talk in this context includes verbal talking and even chatting and sending emails or chatting on phone. 
the right choice of word, you use the wrong choice of word for the right set of people in your life, you use the right set of word for people that will not move you closer to your goals, are you even aware? Let me tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, the words you speak, you know what? It reveals the state of your heart. And sometimes, the state of your heart are careless. They are harsh. They are destructive. So be honest, how many relationships have you damaged because of what you said in anger or frustration? Think about it. A lot of people don't like to be corrected. So people resist correction. People resist guidance. Pride whispers that, yo, you don't need help. You are good. You are okay. You've studied. You have masters. You have PhD. You have done this one. You have done this one. Uh, that you have it all figured out. No, you, no human being has it all figured out. This mindset is a trap. The inability to accept constructive criticism keeps people stagnant. A, be honest. Are you willing to listen, learn, and grow? It's a rhetorical question I want you to ask. In your quiet time, this honesty I'm talking about may sting you, but it is the doorway to a better life in 2025. So choose to face yourself with courage. There is a song. Uh, there is a there, there is a there is a song I love by Michael Jackson. Man in the mirror. Listen to that lyrics of that man in the mirror again. I love that song. Acknowledge where you need to grow. It takes a lot of honesty. It takes a lot of honesty. Because the truth is, without honesty. There can't be progress. And without progress, 2025 will look no different from 2024. Why are we having this conversation? It's because we want to have a better 2024. No matter how good 2024 has been for you, it can be better. Because there's room for more. The biggest room on the surface of the earth is the room for improvement. what is holding you back you know the highest form of deceit the highest form of deceit is a self-deceit highest form of deceit is self-deceit so uh, don't deceive yourself into 2020 Please, I am begging, don't deceive yourself into 2025. Everything is not okay. We have left that era of uh, fake it to make it. Faking it to making it uh, is an old syllabus. A lot of people are not interested in actually being successful. They are interested more in appearing successful. And appearance, they are fleeting. Do you want to be truthfully wealthy? or you want to appear wealthy. Haven't you heard? I wrote an article in our community. If you belong to any of our WhatsApp group, I'm sure you read it. If you did not read it, go and look for it in the group. I wrote an article in our, in our, uh, in our community. I said, men of, men of gold don't wear gold. And I broke that concept. I broke it, I broke it down. Men of gold don't wear gold. Some of us, God has even blessed us with people that will tell us the truth. You have turned all of them to enemy. Can you see something is wrong with you? So it is the people that want to uh, tell you want to want to hear yeah, people that will dance around you that you are hanging uh, around with something is fundamentally wrong upstairs something is fundamentally wrong upstairs I owe you to tell you uh, that much truth please are we gaining value 
We are gaining value, sir. Oh. Yes, yes, we are doing well. Yeah. Yes, sir. <sighs> so let's go to the next alphabet. So we've looked at uh, we've looked at uh, specific goals. We've looked at uh, honesty with yourself. This is not for everybody. It's just for 10 people. Um, this end of the year, people are sober towards the end of the year and at the beginning of the year. And it should not be like that at all times. For me, what has helped me is I'm sober a little, I play a little, I'm sober a little, I play a little, I, uh, I, uh, I'm sober a little. Yeah, I alternate it. But you will see that people gallivant throughout the year. Then towards the end of the year, they are at a phase that uh, they are at a phase in their life that they are taking a prison and they are they are realizing that, oh, I've not really done uh, anything i have 10 slots for one-on-one -on -one coaching it is one hour if you live in same city with me which means we can meet physically if you don't live in the same city with me it is uh we'll do the session over over zoom you want me to help you articulate your goals for 2025? You want me to also help you evaluate and appraise where you're coming from? I'll do that for you. So the way it works is you send me your brief ahead of time. Then I go through that brief. Then I go through that brief so that when we meet, we are going straight into um, we are going straight into solutions. We are going straight into strategies. I've done this for maybe a decade, and by the grace of God, I've never gone wrong. I've had people give me money. I've had people, I mean, extra money. I've had people uh, share massive testimonials, and. I don't have it all figured out. No, I'm not all knowing. Let me blow your mind. I have people I go to meet and I sit down with and they strategize for me. I pay them as well. There are certain level of information, strategies, and acts that you will never access except you pay for such information. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me, it's not for everybody. My one hour session is uh, 300,000. No, I'm not, I don't want to give discount. No, it's 300,000. I have 10 slots for the, between now and December 18. I want to help 10 people articulate their goals. If you're outside Nigeria, that one hour session is $200, $200. So I help you plan your 2025. We'll look at Q1, what you want to do in Q1, what you want to do in Q2, what you want to do in Q3, what you want to do in Q4. I'll help you crystallize it. Then we do mind mapping on everything you want to achieve. It's just 10 slots. If you want, you can reach out to me or you can just take a picture of, you can just take a picture of this particular slide then uh, my phone number is there. Then you can reach me via that number. Someone will respond to you. Then we can schedule. It's just 10. Once it is done, it is done. So let's look at A. We've looked at S. We've looked at A H. So let's look at A. A is action plan. It is not enough for your goal to be specific. It is not enough for you, it is not enough for you to be honest with yourself. You need to have an action plan for 2025. 
you need to have an action plan for 20. I love a particular Chinese proverb. You know what that proverb says? That proverb says, talk does not cook rice. Talk does not cook rice. Talk does not cook rice. So a lot of people are talkers, few doers. And life only respects the doers. So taking action, having an action plan and taking action is a game changer in your life because it is the bridge between where you are and where you want to be. So no matter how detailed your plans are or how big or beautiful your dreams may seem, nothing significant happens until you take deliberate steps towards, towards achieving them. Let me tell you something I realized about action. Small actions can bring a big change in your life. Sending that email, sending that WhatsApp message to that person that will link you to that person, you know, making that phone call. So action turns your potential into progress. It pushes you out of your comfort zone. What actions were you supposed to take in 2024 that you did not take? 2025 is around the corner again. Some of you wanted to do an online course. You wanted to buy that book. You did not buy it this year. You did not subscribe for that online course. Take, subscribe for 2025. Go and look for it again. Now, look at what month it is. If it is March, you start preparing the money. One thing I love about action is action builds momentum. Success loves speed. Don't ever forget that. I wrote a, an article on success loves speed in our WhatsApp community as well. When you take action, action creates opportunities you might never have, have uh, imagined. Trust me. Action creates opportunities that you might have never imagined. So when you take action, it helps you gain clarity. It give, uh, you learn from your experience. It gives you room to make mistakes. And it helps you also build resilience. Even if you fail initially, every step teaches you valuable lessons and gets you closer to your goal. You know, one thing I realized is that failure is not the opposite of success. I'm telling you the truth. The opposite of success is complacency, not doing anything. Not doing anything. They say success favors the boat. And the smallest step you take today is far more powerful than the greatest intention you leave for tomorrow. So when you consistently take action, you develop confidence, you establish a pattern of productivity that sets the foundation for a long-term success. This is important for us, action plan. I'm, I'm done with taking, uh, uh, taking, uh, taking action. You just discuss, discuss. I'm a coach, I'm a counselor, I'm a consultant, and people come to me. Then I realized that for some people at their personal level, when they come for counseling, coaching at a personal level and counseling at a personal level, they just want to talk about their problems. I'm trying to create an action plan. They just want to talk. And let me blow your mind. Some of them are done talking, and I'm shocked. They feel so, uh, they are okay. I'm not a talk therapist. There's a therapy or it's a, a, a specialized therapy called talk therapist. I'm not a talk therapist, but I've seen people, maybe I should even go and take a certification course in talk therapy. So people, so they just want to talk. Oh. They, they, they don't want you to provide solution. They don't want you to do anything. In my mind, but this person did not come in the this job in my job description that the person was trying to give me. The person did not specify, uh, tell me that I want to talk. He told me that I want to get unstuck. I want to move from point A to point B. That is why I wanted to create strategies for me. Please don't be a talker. There's no reward for talkers. The rewards of life are for doers. So I want you to, uh, in fact, today, I am begging you by the message of God. If my message, my voice, my passion is touching you one way or the other, and you say, I must not waste this guy's time, and most importantly, I must not waste my own time for joining this meeting, please take action today. Start writing your plan for 2025 today. I told you I have hosted over 21 webinars, and those 21 webinars, there are people here that, that attended it back to back since September that you did not miss it. After every webinar, I have been telling you, pick your pen and paper and uh, plan for 2025. I am still talking about it today. 
is an action plan. I will not leave you until you succeed. And for some of you, I'm able scared for you. Because you need to create action plan for your life. Maybe you also need to create an action plan for your spouse. That's some people's reality. Don't be shocked. You still need to create action plan for your grown children. Help them appraise and evaluate. And if you have not gotten your own well, how do you want to get all those ones? Think about it now. Think about it now. Ah. So, I'm just trying to check uh, the chat room now. Someone is saying a coach without a coach without a coach is a cockroach. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dr. Uzoma is saying time management is very important for our growth. If you cannot manage time, you can't be successful. No, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot. And let me tell you a secret. I mean, it's because I took a stroll. I took a stroll to. I took a stroll to uh, the chat room. Let me tell you. I might forget, but looking at. The chat room triggered it. One way to gain most or one way to gain more out of every new year is for you to treat the beginning of your year as if it is the end of the year. Why do people, why do we have end of year rush? It's because what people left undone from January to say November or January to say September, they want to, they want to achieve it in APA. It's impossible. So why did why did you have that momentum? I'm a Christian. I believe in God. And I I have nothing against 21 days fasting, but 21 days fasting at the beginning of the year does not mean you should suspend your mental faculty from being productive. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people do. Oh, we're doing 21 days fasting now. Uh, hey, it's kidney, it's spiritual, kidney, it's kidney. It's no. Every of them is independent. Not that you suspend one. We are a spirit, soul, and body. You can't be nourishing your spirit and neglecting your soul and body and expect to succeed. Because that structure is designed to sit, is designed, designed to stand or sit on three legs. So if you're paying emphasis for one month only on one leg, something is fundamentally wrong. Think about it. I want to use my platform to correct. And I, I'm doing it with love. I'm not criticizing anybody. I have nothing against it. So in as much as you feel you're doing a spiritual exercise in your mosque, you're doing a spiritual exercise in your church, engage Still engage your mind to be productive. Have revelation. Act. Move. Do something. Hey, the most religious countries in this world are the most backward. Think about it. Think about it. You think God that gave us a brain, you think he, he, he is foolish. You think he did not know what he's doing. So what your physical brain cannot accomplish or what your physical brain should should accomplish, your spiritual power will not do it. Hey, put water inside where a cup and you're saying, I command it. Oh yeah, more water, move into my mouth. Move into my mouth. If you don't take action with your physical body to take that cup of water and drink it, the water will just be looking at you. Please change. Change your approach. You have tried that approach. Appraise how, how much performance you got. Like I said, I have nothing against it. What I have against it is suspending every other aspect of your life. So you have wasted your entire, you have wasted your entire January. Then maybe February or March is when you are waking up to a new year. 
when people have moved, consolidated the first two months, how much acceleration do you want to do for the rest of the year again? Do I believe in divine acceleration? Yes, I believe in it. But divine acceleration with nothing to accelerate by the virtue of what your mind is produ producing is frustration, is, is a myth. I don't want to open eye for you. Let me switch off my camera. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Uh, so let's look at the next one, P. All right, before we look at the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I have over 70 videos cutting across different aspects of uh, human endeavors that can help us become better in our relationship, in our money. There's, there's a one-hour video I have on YouTube that talks about dealing with financial indiscipline. You can watch it for free. There is a goal setting, creating a blueprint for 2025. Honestly, I wish a lot can be like me. Creating a blueprint for 2025, that video is, is a high net worth content. I know my content. I decided to put it for free. Go and watch it. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Dr. Shogo. So right now, I just want you to put it on your to-do. Go to your YouTube if you can go there right now. Subscribe. I mean, if you are if you are watching on your phone, you can multitask with Zoom, right? So just go to the YouTube channel, search Dr. Shugo, and subscribe to the YouTube channel because you'll get notified. I'm going to be doing lots of videos towards this end of the year and ne next year, so you get notified automatically when uh, I upload new videos. A lot of times, people say uh, women nag a lot. Women nag a lot. There's a video I have, how to deal with a nagging man, dealing with nagging men. Yes, I know women will like that. It's on, the, it's on that place. Go and watch it. These are resources. You know one of the reasons the black would, uh, don't advance? Because we don't pay attention to information. So let's look at P, persistence. Let me give you some time to quickly check that. To quickly subscribe. To succeed in 2025, you need to be persistent. Persistent. Every overnight success has a minimum of 10 years investment. You will not achieve your goals. No goal is achieved overnight. Goals are achieved over time. For some time, it might be 30 days. For another one, it might be 90 days. For another one, it might take you one year. So you need to be persistent. Persistent. And let me tell you something. Twenty twenty five will come with its own set of challenges. We are all battling everywhere. I mean, this is a global webinar. We have people from different parts of uh, the world. We are dealing with global inflation. We are dealing with challenges. The challenges are everywhere. So even if you relocate, you will still meet their own, a, a new set of challenge there. The only way you can succeed, the only way you can shape up, is how persistent are you? I love the story of uh, Samson and Delilah. A lot of times, people con uh, people people uh, criticize Samson. Samson is a weak man, and Delilah just asked him like that, and he just told him the source of his power. But I'm a very good student of the good book. If you read Judges chapter 16, verse 16, very well, in that story, he said, Delilah kept asking Samson. It was put this way, that Delilah asked Samson until it wearied Samson to the point of death. That was when Samson told her the source of his power. So the goals you are trying to achieve will resist you. 
how persistent are you going to be in achieving them? That is why it appears as if successful people are proud because their success was not handed to them on a platter of gold. They fought for it. Blood, sweat, water, sleepless night, strategy, strategizing. People don't succeed and act surprised. It came with a lot of persistence. It came with a lot of persistence. So to shape up, you need to be persistent. You need to, pers uh, you actually need to embrace persistence as a lifestyle. Not just a momentary effort. So challenges will arise. Uh, distractions will tempt you. Setback may seem overwhelming. But you know what? Success belongs to those who refuse to give up. So persistence means showing up daily with a clear vision of your goals, even when the results are not immediate. You want to write that down? Please write. Persistence means showing up daily with a clear vision of your goals, even when the results are not immediate. Success is not an occasion. Success is a routine. You show up every day if you want to succeed. So 20, okay, some of you, you are trying to make money on social media. But you post on in January, your next post is coming in April. You cannot make money. It's not a curse. You show up every day. When people are, when people are not liking it, you are showing up. When they are liking it, you are showing up. You don't know. You know, you know what the good news is? He said in the morning, so. In the afternoon, so. In the evening, so. Evening is not far from the night. He now even said in the night, so. But you don't know which one will germinate. That's persistence. Life will not test you about what you want. Life will test how bad you want what you want. So when we talk about persistence, it's about maintaining focus. When others lose their own focus, you push through the obstacles. Uh, when, the, when the path seems unclear, and you believe in your potential when that creeps in. As we are approaching 2025, the opportunities uh, for greatness are, are very abundant. Go to Google. If you know how to Google very well, I tell people that after God, the most important G is Google. There are opportunities, but do you know how to search it? Do you know how to use the right keywords? Do you know that millions, not if thousands, though? Hear me very well. I'm not making mistakes. So millions of dollars lying fallow, looking for good idea to sponsor in terms of grants. But do you even know how to look for these grants? Do you know how to look for these grants? Hey, let me tell you the genesis of grants in case you don't know. Let me let me let me let me let me put on this camera. Let me tell you let me let me tell you the genesis of Grant. Okay, so when you look at Ford, Ford Foundation, I mean for goodness sake, Ford makes car. But some of these guys don't pay tax in their country. In lieu of a certain percentage of their profit must be spent, and preferably in third world countries, in low income countries. And some of them have money to the tune of trillions that they must push. Let me blow your mind again. When you attend my class, you get the access to information. Usually, they used to give countries. I mean, all, all, the, all the guys that have money to push out from the Western world. Some certain kind of money were given to countries for some certain kind of projects. Then they realized that the countries, they were embezzling it. So now, they give it to small businesses and individuals because they trust them more that they will execute. The quality of the information you have access to is dependent on the quality of the association you belong, the quality of your clique. What are you telling me? Please wake up. Please wake up. Please wake up. There's a difference between what is happening and what is going on. What is happening is on the surface. What is going on is underneath. Do you really know what is going on in the world? What chariot have you aligned yourself with?
I wish I could rewind to some over 25 years back. When I was just leaving university, do you know how many scholarships lying fallow and looking for who to sponsor and people are not maximizing them because they don't even know how to access the information? You just go to Google once. Uh, you didn't find what you are looking for. You give up. Do you know that I lie not to you once every week at least? It's more than once, but I don't want you to sound like I'm exaggerating. Once every week, I spend, I've done today already. I did today after church. I just spend like one hour. Whatever is roaming through my mind, I just Google and I just feed my soul. I feed my mind. But you know the real reality that for some of you that might not be able to consume it. But let me tell you the real reality. I do about two hours every day. Two hours every day, yes. And I do intentional, intelligent searching on Google of things that just come to my mind. You know, one of the things that makes you an interest, uh, uh, one of the things that makes you interest, uh, interesting in conversation is you know a lot of things. So you don't lack what to talk about. People are talking, you can contribute. You can't know everything, but you can know something about everything. What are you persistently searching? Proverbs. He said, it is the glory of the Lord to conceal a matter, but the honor of kings to, to search out. Research is a skill. Research, persistently research your goals. Because of some of your goals, see, goal is not a standalone skill. You need other skills to be able to achieve your goals. I shared it in the masterclass last Sunday. This is a free class. I'm not going to talk about it. Goal is not a standalone skill. Is a goal stands on let's say maybe seven, ten legs. So knowing how to set goal is one leg. That you know how to set goal does not mean you will achieve the goal. Do you know how to problem solve your goals when those problems come? God will help us, but we need to help ourselves. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this video online for free. I'm not sure. There's something called grit, 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 resilience. It's a skill. It can be developed. It's a subset of emotional intelligence. Do you know giving up on your goal is lack of emotional intelligence? Because you should be aware that your goal will not be achieved on a platter of gold. Yes. If you fly too low, you will realize that you are dissatisfied with life because your goals are too low. You are not swearing, so you are not experiencing challenges. Life becomes boring. So, shape, we have looked at S, we have looked at H, we have looked at A, we have looked at P. So, let's look at. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. In all honesty, you see that at times I am surprised with my slide because the plot and the arrangement, I didn't cram it. I wanted us to quickly look at P, but before we look at P, because we're getting to the end of the webinar, my inner circle is called Tribe Tribe. I mentioned something by passing earlier on in this conversation that there are certain levels of information you will not have access to, except you belong to an association, you belong to a connect. Then um, there's limit to how much mileage you can gain when you're not paying for information. My inner circle is called Strife Tribe. This is where I teach. This is where I teach about my acts. I teach about what has worked for me. 
It's a community of professionals drawn from different parts of the world. At the moment, for 2024, Tribe Tribe, we have people in uh, UK, US, Canada, Congo, Brazzaville, the Zambia, Germany. I think I saw I saw Mama G. Mama G is in this webinar. She's in Germany. Professionals. So at times you want to bounce idea of correct edge. You you bounce off idea in such an environment. We do monthly webinars where uh, we bring in it. Uh, we 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 do specialized learning. Occasionally I bring in a facilitator. Two two months ago I brought in a facilitator to come and teach us the basics of import, importation. And someone was asking about a link for something in China. She gave the person, uh, she gave uh, she gave the person, the, oh, well, she gave me a number, then I gave the person the number. And the person has tidied everything up. How to bring things from China and do things and give, give us various ideas. That webinar was solid. If you don't belong to Tribe Tribe, how, how will you know stuff like that? Oh, we have, we have a member in Tanzania as well. So I do monthly trainings. We do book of the month. We review the book of the month. We have monthly thrift. We have thrift. There's something called thrift. We have thrift running into millions of Naira. So it help people save and pack their money in bulk. We have investment opportunities in opportunities that I share. So uh, a, lot of, a, a lot of things. If you want to join Thrive Tribe, someone should please chat my number into the chat room. If you want to join... If you want to join, so if you want to join Tribe Tribe for 2025, which I will suggest and advise you join, but it's voluntary. I'm not begging. Value doesn't beg. But you want change. You want to catch fire. Then you should move around people that are with fire. That is wisdom. So that's that's the kind of community Tribe Tribe is. For a year is 120,000. Divide 120,000 by 365 days. Then it will amaze you how cheap it is. So 120,000 is not for everybody. If you're not in Nigeria, it is just $200. If you're not in Nigeria, it is $200, if I'm not mistaken. There's a wait list community that I've created. If you want to split your payment, maybe you want to pay half in November and half by December, so that January we get the ball rolling. I've made that easy for you as well. So if you want to join, please just chat me in the chat room and uh, I will add you to the platform. If you belong to any of our WhatsApp community, automatically you have my number. So you can chat me so that I can add you to that community. It is not, we are not looking for crowd. There is, there is a number. So once it is closed, it is closed, please. I tell people that you don't save for raining day. You might want to write this down. You don't save for raining day. You save for opportunity day. The greatest investment you can make is an investment in yourself. Personal development is a personal responsibility. You can't, you can't delegate it. You can't outsource it. You want a different result. You need to become somebody different. You want a different result. You need to do something different. What are you doing differently as you step into 2025? In all honesty, I wish I could share, I could outsource this for someone else to talk about it, in all honesty. But then, it's a mission for me. I just need to talk about it. And you guys are in my life. You have been in my life for years. You know that I'm not about selling. No. I give, the things I give for free, some of your coaches that you pay you, they don't give half of it in their paid, in their paid content. I know it. No, it's not about money for me. But you see, when you don't pay for something, you don't value it. So 120000 for Nigerians for the whole year and uh, $200, $200 for people outside Nigeria. Do something different. I mean, you can send, make back transfer or send, uh, do Western Union, any of them works. Uh, that's that about that. So what's the alphabet we're going to now? Let's go to E, evaluation. E is evaluation. So we look, we've looked at S. S is specific goals. H is honesty with yourself. We talk A is uh, A is action plan, taking action. P is persistence. We're looking at shape up. Then E is evaluation. 
Ladies and gentlemen, evaluation is important. You need to be able to regularly assess your progress. Adjust your plan when necessary. So you should actually evaluate where you are. Remember that I've talked about honesty. That's even good. So which means evaluation should be done with honesty. Don't deceive yourself. Are you happy with where you are? Is this where you said you wanted to be in January? Uh, in January? Don't say it's the condition. Stop blaming. Stop pointing accusing fingers. There are no awards for accusing, accusations and uh, excuse giving. Nobody gets an award for giving excuses. You can't use excuse as collateral. It is not bankable. The remaining days of this year, evaluate how you have spent the year. Evaluate your progress in different areas of your life. Some of you, maybe they said you have high cholesterol. Is it government that gave you high cholesterol? You said you will, you will make it low in three months. Now, it is still there. It, it, is, is, is that government? That's not government. But we just don't clearly sit to evaluate different areas of our lives. Of our business. You lost some clients. Simply because you were rude and you were brash. Are you sincere to evaluate that, okay, can I find a way of winning them back? I bet. I don't have so much to say again. You is unleash your creativity. Please be creative. How you do what you do is as important as what you do. How you do what you do is as important as what you do. How you do what you do is as important. So infuse creativity into your work. Innovation. What is innovation? Doing old, doing old things in different ways. Everybody loves what is new. Everybody. So how can you infuse newness into, ah, it's a new year. Why do you think people are excited at the beginning of the year? It's new. Then you get to middle of the year. It's fairly used. But can you be so creative that you are creating newness every day about your brand? You are creating newness every, every day. Well, every day is metaphorically. Maybe every month about your brand, about your business. People cannot predict you. For some of you, it is the logo of your grandfather that you are still using. Change it. As trivial as that is, it stimulates interest of your uh, clients. For some of you, you have a boring logo. Nobody has told you in all honesty. Change it. You've been making money from uh, writing posts on, uh, on, on, on Facebook, on Instagram. Yes, take it to the next level. Infuse video. If you are shy, there's animated videos now. Right? So there's a cartoon that's talking, but your voice is speaking. Or AI voice is speaking. No, just be creative. Just be creative. What does creativity mean to you? It is personal. You might need a coaching session to, uh, for us to develop concepts that you can come up with something new for your business, for your personal brand, for your service. Oh, we have also. P, which is the last one, is pursue accountability. Let someone hold you to higher standard. You must actively pursue it. In fact, in one of the tribe tribe, we had about 10 clus clusters of, ac of accountability group of maybe, I think, 10, 10, 10, 10 people. So you tell your, your goal, people hold you accountable. Ask yourself, do you belong to any accountability group? Do you have accountability partner? Do your teams, there's something called mutual accountability. Is there mutual accountability in your team? 
So if you want to succeed, you need to actively pursue accountability because accountability is the backbone of sustained progress. Please write it down. Accountability is the backbone of sustained progress. We have 1% of human race that are self-accountable. But majority, let's not deceive ourselves, they need somebody else to hold them accountable. It takes wisdom for you to align with an association, a clique, a club, or having friends that will hold you accountable. It is a discipline, no? And you just don't set goals. You actively track and measure the actions against those goals. I told you earlier on that success is not accidental. I told you that success is not ac accidental. Success is a deliberate journey. And accountability ensures that you remain on the right path. So when you embrace accountability, you create a structure that prevents complacency. You belong to an association. People are sharing their wins. They are sharing their goals. They are crushing. Indirectly, they are talking to you that, oh, God, what have you done? If your head is correct, you are also self-talking to yourself. Me too, I want to share something that we have achieved. And you see everybody telling you congratulations. Everybody likes congratulations. Me too, I will share my own that they will tell me congratulations. Do you truthfully understand we rise by leaving each other up? No, it is not being dependent on people. Mutually holding each other accountable is the better way of we rise by lifting others up. So when we look at accountability, it can come in form of having a mentor. And we, there are people that don't do well in group settings. So it might come in, in form of having a mentor, having a coach. It might come in form of belonging to a community or having a trusted friend who owes uh, you to your commitment. So when we look at accountability, accountability forces you to confront your excuses. Accountability forces you to confront your excuses and pushes you to stay consistent even when it looks as if the motivation is dropping. Accountability helps you. Uh, accountability fosters growth because it helps you recognize patterns. By the way, there's something called pattern recognition. So you get to know what is working and what is not working. Without accountability, it is easy for us to drift in life. Hey, some of you said you will write a book in January, but nobody, because nobody held you accountable, where are you today? This is November. Next tomorrow is January. Where are you? Because nobody held you accountable. Nobody was on, on your neck. To succeed, you must commit to showing up, not just for yourself, but for all, but also, also for those who are holding you accountable. This creates a powerful cycle of commitment and action that drives you towards your goals. And that's one of the uh, essence, that's one of the major essence of, of uh, Thrive Tribe. I got a certification from Oxford University. One of my one of uh, one of the member of Thrive Tribe uh, said, "A hey, coach, you have really inspired me." She took. She's not even Nigerian, but she's in Thrive Tribe. This year, I'm talking about this year. So she's enrolled on a six month uh, on a six month uh, sponsored training by US. That when she's done, she will be certified to teach a particular skill. I don't want to give full details. All of us, we are not getting younger. No matter how old you are, you are older today than yesterday. You don't need anything to grow old. Whether you like it or not, you are growing old without effort. But you see that thing called growing up. Growing up takes conscious effort. So growing old is inevitable, but growing up is optional. So the question is, what's your choice? <sighs> there's a pdf that gives a full description there's a pdf that gives a full full description of thrive tribe uh if you join the wait list i will post it so you have everything that thrive tribe is about the benefits of joining so let's just do a quick recap before we take questions i will take five questions then uh we we go a quick a quick recap a quick recap so let me do this. 
So we started with Shape Up, and uh, Shape Up is an acronym that I have created. And when we look at S, S talks about spe uh, sharing, uh, sharing uh, setting specific goals. And as I mentioned, I'm re-explaining it differently now that life does not uh, life does not answer to generics. Life answers to specifics. So you need to be able to break your goal to the smallest particle. That is what being specific is. I, I want to buy a Benz is not being specific. You want, to, you want to tell yourself the color of the Benz. You want to tell yourself the year of the Benz, the model. You want to tell yourself, is there an SUV or a salon? You want to find out how much they sell it. That is, then you want to start planning. That is being specific. So we looked at uh, specificity. Then I shared with us on the power of specificity. For people that are just, uh, for, the pe for people that are just joining, I'm I'm pausing because I'm pausing because I'm reading chat room and I'm seeing I'm I'm, I'm uh, I know thank you for capturing that thought in the chat room. Yeah. So for people that are just joining, you missed. I mean you really missed. Uh, so uh being specific goes beyond, you think you know it, but trust me, a lot of people don't know being specific because when you ask them a question of what, they can't even, they can't even answer it effectively. What kind of grammar do you want to be? I make that statement because I know I have people here that are at grammar level. Oh. When we look at honesty, I really dealt with honesty here. Are you honest with yourself? Uh, are you a better father? Are you honest with, your, with yourself? I talked about father. I talked about, father. I, talked about, I talked about mother. I talked about the way you talk. I talked about relationship. Are you honest that you are not the reason for where you are that you don't like, but you are blaming other people? So being honest with yourself is an element that will help you in shaping up. Then I talked about the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I'm offering. I just have 10 slots. I only have 10 slots, please. 10 slots for this. If you want to sign up for the one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, chat me up. We can have it over Zoom, and we can have it physically if you're in Lagos. Action plan. Talk does not cook rice. That is a Chinese proverb. So you need to make moves, because nothing moves until you move. So make that step. The, 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 it is actions that are rewarded. Intentions are not rewarded. So what actions am I taking towards making my 2025 different? Do you know that there are people that they, have, they are done? Metaphorically speaking, they have completed a Q1. And we are in November. They are already in Q2, 2025. Think about it. Then I talked about my YouTube channel. I have over 70 videos you can watch for free. There's a video I want you to see. That is even why I am requesting that you subscribe to the channel. That video is blue, blueprint, something blueprint for 2025, creating a blueprint for 2025. Next Sunday, we'll be looking at 2025 conversations. I want to look, I want to highlight four areas or five areas that we need to pay attention to. Uh, God uh, spare our life. Yeah. So subscribe so to my YouTube channel. When I upload new videos, you get notified. I have over 70. That, uh, uh, why you are not attracting customers, how to attract customers to your business. I have all those videos there for free. P is persistence. Resilience is an element of emotional intelligence. Challenges are going to come next year. It is not negative confession. They are going to come. But it is how strong your persistence level is that determines how much of your goal you will achieve. Let me leave it at that. Then I talked about my inner circle, Thrive Tribe. Someone is asking, at almost 50 years, can outstanding results be obtained in my career? Yes. Can business be started at this age? God bless you. For asking this question, ma'am. Let me tell you, at 50 years, you said, I love it. You said, 
can after be can after the result be obtained in my career you know what you say better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof the it is your finishing that matters though if it is one year you have left if it is 10 years you still have left if it is five years you still have left you have more than enough time to write your name on a rock not on a sand by changing today so yes you can and you know what in career your name is a key you can either close door or open doors you just need to be honest with yourself and reveal how you have performed so far if you don't like it rebirth yourself reborn yourself like a phoenix and people will talk about you for the rest of your life even after you have left that institution so yes the second part can you start business at this age everybody knows kfc chicken KFC chicken started when that man was 65 years old. At six, no, I'm sure they told you are far away from being 65. And KFC in his life, he died at 80 something. And he saw KFC expand to over 40 countries in his lifetime. You are just 50. I beg. You have more than enough. So all these are also self-sabotaging thoughts that you need to work on when you have a coach that can help you. Thank you for asking that question. Uh, yes, because a lot of people just uh, internal dialogue is what is holding them back. Yeah. So I talked about my inner circle for people that want to scale up. I'm not overflogging it. Then uh, E is evaluation. Teach us to number our days so we can apply our art to wisdom. Life is measured in days, not in years. If you measure in days, it appears as if uh, the years is very long. But each day, I press it. Am I moving closer to my goal or you are moving away from your goal? There's no in-between. It is either of those two. So evaluate your actions. And you know what? I mentioned earlier on that a success you cannot duplicate is a success you have not mastered, which means that that particular success was a fluke. But when you evaluate actions, it is then you are able to find out what you are doing that is working and you are able to repeat it. But if you are not evaluating, so for instance, you did, you have a program coming up and you did sponsored ad. You did on Instagram, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. The truth of the matter is that all of them cannot bring the same number of participants. One of them brought the highest. So wisdom demands that when you do evaluation and you notice that in your next marketing effort, it is the traction that brought the highest that you should focus money on. Evaluation is very powerful. Then unleash your creativity. How you do what you do is as important as what you're doing. Be creative, be creative, be creative. Don't be rigid. Don't be rigid in the way you do things. Innovation is uh, doing old things in new ways. So how can you infuse cre uh, creativity into your into your business? You will notice at times you just see that some of the big uh, restaurants, some of the big eateries, some of the big banks, you know, some of the big telecoms, they just change the color of their brand, and they do a campaign, uh, maybe two months campaign. Uh, something big is coming. Something big is coming. It's a logo they change though, but see how they have hyped it and done it. It could be more than that. Anyways, but I just use that as an illustration. Then P is pursue accountability. And I broke down what accountability is and uh, channels through which accountability can be pursued uh, from a coach, from a mentor, from a friend. Yeah, I, I broke everything down. So uh, question and answer. Is it okay? I, I stop sharing now. Yes. So question and answer. If you have any questions, so we have taken one. I said we are taking five questions. So which means we have four more, four more. Please ask questions. People pay me to ask me questions. Now you have an opportunity to ask me a question for free. Hello, doctor, can I talk? Yes, sir. With the doctor, my name is Uzoma, one's okay. Is this my darling, Mr. Uzoma? My very own Mr. Uzoma? <laughs> yes. Okay, I wanted to be sure. Okay, your surname now, I will register the surname. Okay, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, you remember last week, Sunday, we discussed uh, something as a book you recommended. Do you need yes, afraid? Yeah, do it afraid. Or do you yes. need to uh, Yeah. So in that book, 
if uh, from the context of that book, how does he from the okay from the name doing it afraid? How does doing it afraid helps us to 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 push our actions based on a based on a action action plans? Do it afraid. How does it relate to make us push us to 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 achieve action plans? Do it afraid. Right. Sometimes we want to do some things. We are afraid. Okay. How do we do it? But we have plans for it. Okay. So I we I will explain it broadly since this is not a private session uh, for everyone. See, everybody has fear. Fear is an emotion. Afraid is causing of fear, right? And fear is also a fuel. And fear does two things to us. Number one is either it cripples us or it propels us. So do it afraid is using our fear to propel us. When they say fortune favors the bold, I tell people that that word fortune in that uh, idiomatic expression does not uh, is not limited to money. Fortune is anything that will make you achieve your goal. It might be that open door for that presentation. It might be that getting noticed. But it took you some courage to say, I was the one that did it. I was the one that did it. So somebody else should stop taking your credit. So doing it afraid is not, and when we look at courage, courage is not taking action because you are not afraid. Courage is taking action despite the fear. So do it afraid is using our fear to take steps that will move us closer to your goal. It's like, so let's look at it this way. I just got that illustration now. Now, there's, the story, there's this story of the four lepers. They said to themselves, if we move into the camp of the enemy, we will die. If we stay, we will die. So all die and I die. Is it not better to die honorably taking steps? So they moved. They did it afraid. But look at what happened. Their footsteps was amplified. And those guys ran. That, hey, they have hired chariots against us. They, they flee. So doing it afraid is taking steps despite the fear. Did I try small? Yeah, it's okay, sir. Thanks. <laughs> yes. So there is are, there are science to it that is deeper than this that we might not be able to do. But uh, Mr. Uzoma, you need to get that book. That book is destructive. You, you know, that book takes us to the end of our life. Remember that screenshot I posted in, in, on that particular platform? He said, do you want to look back with regret because you did not take step because you were afraid? Or you take... Because why do, why do people not take step at times? Fear of rejection. Fear of what people will say. Fear of... And those things you are fearing, they are, they are not real. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's correct. it. Yes, yes. So that's it. Uh, someone is asking that what is P for? Can someone help us? So this is P. This is P. P is pursue accountability. If you are joining us for the first time, this is my social media page. You can follow me on Instagram at Dr. Shogo, on Facebook at Dr. Shogo, LinkedIn at Dr. Shogo. This is my WhatsApp number. And this is also my website, right? I'm accessible. Yeah, so that's it. So we have question. We have the second person. Someone is, Nick Ogunjobi is asking the title of the book. This is supposed to be things for my inner circle, people that are in my inner curriculum, inner chamber. But for the love of God, it is called, uh, that book is called Do It Afraid by Scott Allen. That's the name of the author, Scott Allen. It's not a book you will find, find randomly anywhere. No. Do it afraid. Scott Allen. So someone messaging and yes, said I should share my WhatsApp number. So this is my WhatsApp number. So 234-8077-55220. If you don't belong to our WhatsApp group, if you don't belong to our WhatsApp group, I have a WhatsApp group where I teach for free. No eating charges. The WhatsApp group is so matured that people don't post. They don't post stupid and foolish stuff. It's quiet. Yes. So if you want to join our WhatsApp community, feel free to chat me. I will share a link uh, with you. If you want to join Thrive Tribe, please 
uh, I encourage everyone, if you can, you need, see, it takes madness to cure madness. So if you keep giving excuses and the economy is hard, I don't have money, I did not plan for it. What? Let me keep quiet. Okay, so if you love my slides, Prie designed my slide, and Prie has a discount for end of year. If you love my slide, you want to design slides for your company, it designs slides, it designs flyers, it designs billboards, it designs flex banner. Please reach out to Priye. Priye is good at what he does. Priye, once again, post your post your phone number. He has uh Priye has Priye has uh, I've I've posted my number, mercy. Priye has a discount for end of the year. Not general discount, a doctor should go discount. I spoke to him on your behalf because one of the things you gain when you also move with me is, or especially when you join Tribe Tribe, you have access to my network, the people I know. You have access to the professional I know. You have access, and there's always a Dr. Shogo Edge where you mention that it is Dr. Shogo that said I should come and do this with you. It's what I don't give the general WhatsApp group, right? Uh, Anyways, I will share the PDF if you want. Just uh, chat me up. So Priya's number is also in the WhatsApp room. Priya did a, 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 a collection of work for someone in Botswana. And payment, I facilitated the payment seamlessly. They, they may never see themselves till they die. That is the power of community. Stop moving with people that are complaining. Country is hard. Country is hard. You can't grow like that. It is low resolution thinking. Move away from low resolution thinkers. If everything is energy, all right. So uh, without wasting much of our time, I want to appreciate everyone for showing up. Don't log out quickly. Don't be a don't be a taker. Today I don't want to take offering. Madam Yabo, Akai, what's up? It's good to see you here, ma. You came in late. I saw you when you came in. Ah, but I understand. So I want to give a shout out to everyone here. Timmy, thank you for joining. Magdiva, thank you. Mr. Ozoma, I appreciate you. Bumiba, Ms. Shaye, Sylvie, uh, Salem, Reverend Yinka, Muli Berry, Shegun, Oyedeko, Olani, Razufa, Engineer Kola. Ah, ah. Mommy Eugenia, you there here? Gloria, Ogochuku. Priye, Chebet, Christine, Kumari. Kumari, after one million years, it's good to have you here. I see Honor, I see Tuskele, I see uh, Margaret, I see Ma uh, Ada, Harriet, I see you. Thank you for joining. Alima, Alima, it was nice meeting you last week. Dr. Lady of God, I see Bemisola, I see uh, Azeluzo, I see Nina, Sophie, Ola Wallace, uh, Kola Akinyemi. Mama G, Grace Abalogu, I see you. Cherechi Uzoma, thank you. Yero, uh, Ungozi, uh, Madam Ungozi. Uche, I know you are the one behind that laptop. <laughs> Balang, I see you. Anu Ake, Anto Anthony, I see you. Fumi, Fashionista, Lisa Bliss, Honor, Jane Dunku, Abimbola, Tonya, I see you. Henrietta, Blossom, Nike Ogunjabi. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Moyo, you're still to the very end. My Moyo, it's very hard to capture Moyo like this. Moyo, God honor you. Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, Allah to Kumbo. Eshun, Mommy Comfort, Jacqueline, Dr. Irene. Thank you very much. Amariaku. <laughs> Mercy Chine here. I see you. iPhone, I see you. Dr. John, tell me your name. Now you be this. It's good to see you. Play Yogi Doo Doo. Thank you. Mrs. Yaba, ah, uh, Mrs. Oluwaka, your dear of God, I see you. Ichuku, Marian, Blossom, and Rienta. Yes, I think all everybody. Balumi, ah, now you, Balumi, you've been trying to have a coaching session with him for like five years. Keep deceiving yourself. Balumi is my son, so I can talk to him like that. Be deceiving yourself every year. He will come and meet me every year. Hey, <laughs> doctor, how much is a coaching session? <laughs> Every year for five years now. 
it's okay. I hope we got value. Please, if we got value, just chat in the uh, put in the chat room uh, some kind words and uh, remember me your prayers. That's the beyond money, above money. Your prayers is what I covet. I just want people's lives to be better. I want people's people to get it right. I say it with all humility. This shape up, this blueprint for shape up. If that's the, if you if you decide to stick with it and get it right. It is enough for you to enter 2025 with boldness. Ah, okay. So I will upload. I will upload the video on YouTube. You will have it for free. I've decided that. All right. Thank you very much. Any other question? By the way, I just cut off from asking people questions. I think because I wanted to give a shout out. Any other question? I think we've had two questions. I will upload it on. I will upload on. I will upload on uh, YouTube for free. Yeah. As someone said, Doctor Shogo, this is an awesome social responsibility. This is an investment that money cannot buy. Thank you for recognizing that. I'm grateful for your kind words. Thank you, Marian said, Doctor, I got value though you came late. Okay, I'm going to upload the video. I'm going to upload the replay on YouTube for free. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's very important so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Uh, the flyer is not up now. I mean, for people that are still here, I want to believe that these are the people that are not takers. You know, in life, you have takers, you have givers. Takers, oh, I've gotten all the knowledge you want. Uh, well, well, whatever thing you saying now is not useful. Those are takers. Life does not value takers. And you can see I'm not displaying, uh, I'm not displaying any flyer now. But I think it is important that I know it is not everybody that can join. No. And I don't even want everybody to join. But if you're having a nudge that you need to join Tribe Tribe, I can vouch that if you stay with your spirit, soul, and body, I can't create any magic on my own. It takes two. Yero, thank you. It takes two to create magic. Just try and hang around me for the next one year and measure it against your against your result in in 2024. I can assure you that a minimum of 60% increase if you truthfully stay with me. Have free WhatsApp group where I teach. Free free i mean people stay there for one year they tell me after one year that dr shogu that's free now imagine that i'm saying i have a paid inner circle it's crazy so mercy you're asking that how do you join tribe tribe please chat me after chat me ma after the after the session i will say i will add you to the wait list so if you want to join the wait list so that uh, i can keep you accountable in a group setting i acknowledge people's payments there so you don't forget that you need to make a payment as well. Uh, so if you want to join the wait list for Tribe Tribe, please reach out to me. God bless you, everybody. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Have a beautiful week ahead. The best of our life is not behind us. Don't ever forget that. The best of our lives is not behind us. The best of our lives can never be behind us, except you are saying that it is behind you. The best of our life is in front of us. When you look at a car, the windshield of the car is bigger than the rear mirror. It's for a reason. What is in front of us is bigger than what is behind us. So your tomorrow can only be better. It can only be bigger. But the question is, are you intentional to be part of that? Is as is as far as your eyes can see. Please don't let me go into another session. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful week. Bye. All right. Oh yeah, now I've said bye. You are still stay. Why now? <laughs> oh Lord. Thank you, everyone. A lot. 
Okay. Engineer, call of God. Engineer, call Lizzo. I'm interested in that coffee, by the way. Engineer Cola has one amazing coffee like that. And I think there's a business model around that product. You know, these are opportunities I share in my inner circle, not just general class. Remember, uh, you can't get to know about investment if you're not in my inner circle, no. Uh, Dr. Lyde, are you out? Mommy Comfort. God bless you for showing up, ma. Amen, sir. Thank you, sir. You're Thanks welcome. for all the values. You're yes. welcome, ma. <laughs> all right. Good night, everyone.